Hello everyone, welcome to one more lesson of our tutorial series on how to create a microservice based web application using Node.js and in this lesson we're gonna develop two functionalities to our orders service. Basically a functionality to create an order and another functionality to list all the orders of our service. So let's get started. First, I will create here a new route, but before that, we need to configure body parser. So const body parser equals to require body parser. And here, let's call app.use body parser dot json after that let's load mongoose here to load our 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 database stuff and let's connect i wrote wrong here is mongoose and now mongoose dot connect and now we need to have a database for our orders so let's go to mlab and here let's create another database specifically for the order service us east and i will call it of orders service And now let's select this database here and let's go to this users tab to create a new admin user to manipulate this database. So uh, my username here will be a Juanix. And the password will be this. Now let's copy this link here this connection link and let's go to mongoose and paste it here the user will be at uonix the admin user in this case and the password is this so it basically the credentials to manipulate our orders database now if you want you can pass a callback here for testing orders and let's test it out so no demo orders orders dot js and that's it database connected after that let's load our model to load our other model we just need to require our model file so dot slash and the file that holds all the model information in this case is order.js and after that we can do the following thing we can create a const or a var you decide in this case i decide to go with const and i will call it of order and it will receive a mongoose dot model and the name of the model that you define in this file here in my case the name of my model is order so i will copy it and paste it here now our model is loaded here now it's time to create a new root so app dot post this root here will create a new order and basically i will call it of order and it receive this callback here as the every express root and to create uh, a new order 
we need to receive data through requests, JSON data through requests. So let's create a new order here as we make with the customers with the customer service here and with the book service too. All right. And here we can pass the fields. Our first field is the customer ID. That's it, customer ID. It receives rec.body.customer ID book id rec.body.book id and initial date rec.body.initial date and finally delivery date delivery date. I will copy it and paste it here. <laughs> now let's create a new order here. So for order equals to new order and it receives our new order object. All right, after that we can make a save here to save our order object into our database. So order dot save. Oops, dot save. Then order. created with success and let's catch arrows here so here we can make a throw arrow nice so that's it now let's open postman first First thing, let's open up our server. So no daemon orders.js. And after that, let's open Postman. I only will change this port here. My order service runs in the 777 port. So I will change it. And we need to make a new a new in your request to this to this root here so we need to make a post request to the other root and now here we need to send all this information here by our request body so let's go to body and here we can simply copy it and paste here we can pass here a customer id it need to be a valid id so we need to open now our customer customer service so you need to open a new terminal go to your customers folder and here you need to open up your customer services server now we can get all the customers and get an id so I will make a request here in my browser to list all the customers and I will get this ID. Remember, 
this field here need to be valid, all right? So you need to pass an existent ID. So my customer ID is it. And now we need to make the same thing to get a book ID. So I need to create a new terminal or you can create a new. Now in this book ID field, we need to get a book ID, a valid book ID. So let's go to our application and we need to create a new tab in the terminal or open up another terminal and open up the book service server, all right? So I will create a new tab here in my terminal and I go to the books folder and I will open up the book service server. Now I will make a request to this to this route here to this books route to list all the books for me so i will go here in my localhost in the port five uh, four five four five so here four five four five books and i will get an id here code bit now copy it and paste it here. So now let's define the dates. The first date is the initial date. So to pass a date to JavaScript, you need to pass in this format. First the year, dash, after that the month, and after that the day. And the same thing here in this, in this another another date in this deliver date year month and day all right so oops i forgot here this thing so don't forget to put quotes here in each field and that's it if we make a new request it will not work but why Look, here in our model, we define our customer ID with the type of object ID and the book ID with the type of object ID as well. This data that we pass here as an ID is a string, isn't object ID type. So before we save, this data in our database, we need to convert this string to object ID. And to do that, we need to go here before we, we save, can be here, and we need to call mongoose dot, dot types dot object ID. So this function here converts our, our data, our string data to an object ID. We need to do the same thing with this book ID field. So mongoose.types.objectID, the same thing. And now we can save our order into our database. Let's test it out. So now I will make a new request, a new post request to our order route in our localhost 777, which is the port where my order application is running. So let's test it out. And if I go here, and as you can see, order created with success. Now we can make, insta instead of this console.log, we can make a, a res.send to send a response to the request point. So the response will be order created with success. Nice.
And now if I go to my MLab and open my order service database, you will see this collection here, this orders collection with two documents because I, I made two requests. And that's it, our two requests, our two orders, sorry. Now it's time to list all these requests in our application. And to do that, we need to create and get root here. I will call it of orders and it will receive this callback here and to list all our orders, we just need to call our, our model, our other model dot find then books and res json books and let's catch if there is an arrow and if arrow throw arrow nice let's test it out now so i will go to my localhost 7777 7777 slash orders and that's it our two orders here but as you can see all the information here is only id and codes and if i want to to show instead of this customer id code here show my customer name or instead of this book id here i show the book name so this thing this behavior we're gonna develop in the next lesson when we're gonna talk about connection with another services.